Succession planning has been a challenge for our company for many years. Our understanding has been limited. When we face the issue with our franchise owners, it's usually too late. Nothing's been planned, the outcome generally less than satisfactory, and some leave the company under indifferent circumstances. I've watched many franchise owners across Australia and New Zealand build tremendous businesses. A lot of them help build our network to what it is today. But for various reasons, the desire to continue driving a vibrant, growing enterprise has disappeared. It's not always a question of age. The growth that was sought in the early years and continues to be sought by the company, requiring energy and a competitive spirit, is no longer important. In many cases, they built a wonderful asset. Huge property management businesses have flourished, creating a strong, consistent income stream. And of course, not forgetting the asset value. However, several questions arise when no succession plan is in place. Do I really have the energy to run a sales team at the standard expected by the company? If I did decide to sell my business, who has the financial capacity to purchase the entire business, including the property management? How long would that take and what would happen during that time? Over the years, several attempts have been made to solve this problem by splitting our franchise businesses into two separate entities, a separate sales and rental business. Initially a good outcome, but within a year problems begin to arise. The asset value in the sales business remains stagnant, resentment builds between the partners, and the relationship deteriorates, the arrangement becomes untenable. In addressing this problem, we decided to take a fresh approach, a new model. A model that provides a viable succession pathway with minimum disruption. Also providing our franchise owner a business that will continue to give purpose and fulfilment and of course the income stream. It does also provide an opportunity to introduce a new franchisee to drive an energetic sales business with the option to build a rental portfolio. And of course, it allows our franchisees to remain members of the broader Ray White Group, enjoying many of the company resources without the pressure. A specialist independent property management business, powered by the Ray White Group, called Living Here, has now begun. All the knowledge and experience the company has collected in the property management area can now continue with those members seeking a career transition. Our first franchisee is Justin Marsden from Tingalpa in Brisbane. So Justin, you've been with our company, Ray White, for a long time now, and you're still a relatively young fellow. So I'm curious, why did you decide to sell your business? It wasn't a decision we were looking to make. We were uh, approached by one of our sales team. They said they were looking to move into a business and was ours for sale. We thought about it. We thought, yeah, well, it's the right thing. They're the best person in our business you know, to buy it. After some thought and consultation, we decided that that was the right thing to do, not only for us, but for Ray White, the group. So once you made the decision to sell, you attempted the split model where we have two separate Ray White businesses, a franchise for sales and a franchise for rentals. So how did that start off? Did it, um, did it develop over time? Did it work well? Look, it starts out with the best of intentions, Peter, and we were both very happy. But the frustration came for the sales business. They wanted to start a rent roll. So therefore, us being Ray White rentals next door to Ray White sales, we didn't want to refer to them if they wanted to take our clients. So you made the decision to join Living Here and establish a separate business, still part of the Ray White group. So how have the staff reacted to it? They like the new branding, they like the new look, they like it's fresh, it's vibrant. Have there been any surprises from landlords or tenants since the transition from Ray White to, to Living Here? Well, very surprising. We were initially thinking with most changes, people get a little bit jumpy. Mm. Uh, we've lost two managements out of a rent roll of just over 400, so we think that's pretty good, and for non-related reasons. So yeah, I think moving forward, the landlords are very happy. Same team, same location, different name. So no doubt, as the business progresses, sales will form a very important part of the business. How do you intend to deal with that? Yeah, well, you've given us the right to do that, which is good, but in a very limited capacity, which is all we want. We yes. want to be able to service our clients. And obviously your intention is to continue to build the rent roll. You don't see that as being a stagnant side of the business? No, not at all. But we think that the salesperson that will join us will cover a dual role. They'll be the sort of person that is, yeah, looking after the clients and selling a property if that becomes apparent. But 
a big focus for them will be to go and get new managements. And you intend to take uh, advantage of the resources with inside the company? Part of why we wanted to stay you know, part of a group is to um, have some strength behind us. Yes. And yeah, we want to grow it. I mean, we're sitting at just over 400 now and I'd like to be having this discussion with you in a very short space of time telling you we're at 500. Why wouldn't you want to live here?